where there is love. <laughs> One, two, three, let's switch this up. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakela. If you are new, I make fashion content. If you are not new, how you do I have you been? So in today's video, we got my fall essentials for 2021. I tried to make it a little bit more college friendly only because you don't have really big wardrobes in college, right? This is my closet right here and I have a lot of stuff. I wanted to just kind of condense this as best I could and give you things that I really think are essential for full time. Let's just get into the video. Everything that I can link will be linked down below so you can shop. But yeah, let's just get started. We're going to start with accessories because we already know if all the accessories your outfit doesn't pop. So I have these two bags right here, right? I personally prefer big bags. Some people like small bags. I have like, you know, shorter bags as well. But I just personally like the look of tote bags like that's kind of when I think of streetwear I think of these kind of bags not so much little purses so this one is from Preluding it's just a black quilted bag this essential I think having two that you can um you know what's the word you know interchange switch out is really really important one that's a light color one that's a dark color I would love to get one that's brown as well but these are my favorite this one is from Shein my clothing rack is like giving it very much uh, leaning tall with pizza hey, let me show you some hats because I do wear hats all the time so this is from Shein this is also from Shein absolutely love this hat this is a vibe this is a trucker if you don't know trucker hats are really in most of my hats are from Shein as you want to her this is also from Shein if you don't know Camel is my favorite thing ever this hat is from culture kings absolutely love this this color is beautiful i wear it all the time this one is also from shein love the colors in this and then this last hat is from von dutch i got it from urban outfitters i know he canceled because he races but i didn't know it at the time sorry i do also think that beanies are very important but i'm not going to touch them too tough because it's still it's not good enough for a beanie and then in terms of shoes let's do shoes before we get into clothes i think you should have a staple pair of black sneakers stable pair of white sneakers whether it be a white pair of forces i have my black cat jordan force right here these right here these are my new babes i'll link the video where i got these from in the cards but i think having a stable pair of black and a stable pair of white sneakers are essential a pair of black boots essential and then whatever other shoes you decide that you want to wear you know what i'm saying like whatever fits your style so now let's get into the clothing items or that you need to have in your wardrobe first up we have basic tops i shared these in a my Forever 21 essentials haul so i'll link that in the cards but it's just white gray and black you can get packs of these i'm sure from like target or something like just having basic tops to just throw on and throw a jacket over top put on some jewelry accessorize and then you look put together get you some basic tops they are essential for your wardrobe look all you're on next up we have graphic tees so i just put out two i have a whole graphic tee collection graphic tees are essential all you're on in the fall winter time what i do love about graphics and what you can do what i have done um when it gets cold you can wear these and put a hoodie underneath it you know you're layering but you're able to still get the graphic tee feel so you can really play around like that with graphic tees and hoodies as it gets colder you need graphic tees this one is from culture kings and then i have this one right here this is from boohoo man this is like my favorite place to shop for affordable graphic tees culture kings is a little bit more expensive the last tops i'm going to show you are crew necks I don't really pull up my hoodies until it's curl curl because I don't need all the extra fabric on me. If you saw my Shein home, you don't want to see this is a beautiful baby. This is from Shein. Um, I just wanted to show it to you because I absolutely love it. But crew necks are... How do I explain why I love them so much? They just make you look so cool. And I've said this before, I like colors that make me feel cool. Especially when I'm going for that very like a streetwear look. Crew necks I think are really important. And they really help to do that because the fit of them, the style, if it does have a graphic, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But just the way that they fit and slouch and hug and fall on your body, 
there's nothing like it and for me personally crew neck silver hoodies i don't know let me know in the comments if you're a crew neck or a hoodie person like i'm a, I'm a crew neck person um and then i have this one this is my favorite um for multiple reasons it's really dope and i posted a picture on instagram last fall with this crew neck one and it went viral has 40,000 likes and it's all over Pinterest and on people's TikToks about how they, how they want to dress if they are a girl or how they wish they girl dressed. So I just love this. This is so dope. This is from Pretty Little Thing. I know that Walmart, for my American girls out there, my American, you ain't gotta be a girl, you could be a boy watching this. My American subscribers, I know that Walmart is the plug and I'd be jealous AF. I know that they plug for like basic ones. So like crew necks and then next I have our sweatpants. Crew necks and sweatpants, bye. You look so good when you have one a matching sweatsuit. Whenever you got on things that match, you automatically look, you look good. You look good, you look like you tried. So I have these two pairs right here. This black pair is from Pretty Little Thing. These are from Primark, but Pretty Little Thing is really one of my favorite places to get sweats. They fit really well. They got the job done and I absolutely love them. So, but next up, we've got our cargos and our camos. I cannot live without cargos and camos, especially camo pants. Everybody on every video that I ever post whenever I have these pants in a video. So Kayla, where are your camo pants from? My camo pants are thrifted, okay? And let me just say this so that you hear it now. They are a hunting style of camo pants. So they look like trees. They look like... So if you wanna get your hands, first of all, check a thrift store. Second of all, if the thrift store doesn't have what you're looking for, check, I feel like you could find something like this on a hunt at a hunting shop. Like go somewhere that sells hunting gear and get you a perk. Amazon also has some really dope kind of similar like this. If I can find a link like that, like these, I will link it down below. And these two pairs, both of these pocket pants are from Shein and Lydia, exact same pants, but just in two different colors. They fit so well. Staples. I don't think you need anything other than these colors. If you want to branch out, get you a navy blue or like a olive green or cream pair, you can do so. But again, I'm trying to keep this as minimal as possible. Um, so a black and a brown pair, I think are all that you need. And next up, we got jeans. Now, let me tell you about my love for jeans. I didn't think that I would love jeans, but it's because I'm a tall girl and I could never find jeans that were long enough for me. But I want to say a huge thank you to Pretty Little Thing because they always have jeans that are long enough for Secure Justice. I think you should have four pairs of jeans in your wardrobe. So you have a loose pair of black jeans. These are a loose fitting, should I show you all these? These are a loose fitting black jean. They have rips in the knees. When it comes to jeans for me in streetwear, the baggier, the looser, the more gathering at the ankle, the better. I'm not here for the skinny jean. I'm not saying that you can't wear skinny jeans and be streetwear, but I just feel like it's not really a part of this world, if that makes sense. So I have these jeans and then I have the exact same pair in blue so it's a baggy blue jean and it gives a very vintage 90s old school feel and then i have right here what, a fitted pair of blue jeans and i think for blue jeans in the winter i don't like dark wash this is me personally these are straight leg so i need to get a straight leg black jean and then my jean collection will be good i also i'm gonna insert a picture right here of the color of jean that i'm talking about this wash right here I think this is going to be the wash for full winter. So if you can get your hands on a pair of jeans in this color, right. These are more like a honorable mention. You don't need to have them. If you want to get them, you can, but it's not necessary. A leather pants. Leather pants are so cool. These two pairs of these rouge ones are both from um, Mangue de Bois. And then these are black split hammed pants from Pretty Little Thing. Black ones specifically, but either of these colors are nice as well, again, because they are, in my opinion, cool other colors. And they just go with a lot of the stuff that is in my wardrobe because I am a very much a neutral girl. So let me just talk about them because I'm tired of holding it. The reason why I think leather pants are so cool, it's like they kind of edge up your outfits. Like, it's like it's streetwear, but it's mixed with like edge. What do you call that? I don't know. But it kind of just edges it up. Get you a pair of leather pants. 
if you can. Now we've got some jackets right here. First off, we have denim jackets. Both of these are from Shein. This one is cropped, which I think will be nice for the fall, because if it's not, you know, cold enough where you really want to be wearing a jacket jacket, you can wear a crop something something. And then this one is a full length. It's oversized, it's nice. Denim jackets are essential. You can wear it with a basic top, put on some camo pants or some cargoes, whatever the case is. Throw on some necklaces, put on a pair of shades, put a bag on your shoulder, outfit. You got what I'm saying? Like it's really just, it's just that easy to just look nice. So next we have this here, which is a camo jacket. I have another one that's more winter friendly. I'll share it to you because I love it. Camo, like I said already, is very much streetwear. Like if you're into streetwear and you don't have camo, like I was, I don't believe that you are into streetwear. I feel like it's a staple and essential in streetwear items. This is from um, EPTM. This is more winter as you can tell. This is from Urban Outfitters. And I really like this. I did crop this myself. This is nice because it's cropped and it just adds to an outfit and it's really cool. Can you stop doing all this leaning, child? You embarrass me. And then the last two items I have are like shirt. All right, we're just gonna let her lean because that's what she wanna do. So, so this first one is from Shein. Shirts are really nice as well. Get your cream one, get your black one. And you've got something nice to throw over like if you are chilly but you don't want to wear a jacket this is just a nice something and then last two shirts again streetwear essentials streetwear essentials flannels these both are from shein my absolute favorites they go with everything again very neutral colors like i feel like especially if you are in college and you don't have stay there and you don't have a lot of space like having things that you want to have a wardrobe that you can pull okay this shirt okay these jeans okay this thing we got an outfit okay this shirt these jeans this oh we got an outfit okay this shirt these sweatpants this jacket uh, you get what i'm saying like you want it to be you want it to be a thing where you can mix and match you don't want to have too many unique pieces in your wardrobe these are closet essentials let's talk about why they are okay because i just want to make it make sense to you when it comes to a wardrobe right the way to build a wardrobe is to get a lot of basics a lot of your essentials a lot of your staples together because when you have all of these basics and these essentials and these staples you are able to make a plethora of outfits because you have so many pieces that are not too unique that you cannot wear them over and over and over again so i have this one graphic tee right my absolute favorite graphic tee right but it is ridiculously unique it's ridiculously unique so i can't wear this every other day i mean i could who's gonna check me but i can't in the sense that like if this was like one of my rotational shirts it would look like i'm got the same outfit on all the time you got what i'm saying whereas if i have these shirts right here i can wear again she got a pocket of these because white shirts you go through them like freaking water but if i had these shirts right here i could wear this shirt three times in a week and one day wear sweatpants one day wear camo one day wear jeans and i'm got on a whole different outfit you get what i'm saying i can take my camo pants and i can put it with a graphic tee i can put it with this shirt i can put it with a crew neck that's why i said get you some plain crewnecks as well you want to have a lot of basics a lot of essentials because as much as it is the pieces that make the outfit it's really the accessories that make the outfit like that is what turns your outfit from meh to bitch you look great you know what i'm saying so add in a hat add in some child my camera overheated so i don't remember the last thing that i was telling you it really honestly comes down to your accessories like accessorizing is really important i want to do a full video on accessories and just like seeing how they can make an outfit go from zero to 100 but just know just know that you can look like a bad bitch you can look like a bad b like a stylish ass motherfucker with some basic ass pieces if you style them correctly so get your basics get your essentials start building outfits with these things first and then start adding in more unique pieces you know what i'm saying just wanted to give you a little bit of tips hopefully this video was helpful it was very talkative very chatty but i think for that 
is a good thing. But yeah, guys, so everything... Ooh, that was a weird roll off my eyes. I felt that. Everything will be linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you know, you want to be with me time I post notifications. Follow me on Instagram for more fashion info. And I will see y'all in my next one. Peace out. Girl stuff. Check you later. Yeah, you know what I'm saying?